Hey there guys, it's Avra here. One floor below me is our warehouse in which we produce SparkFun original boards from start to finish, from PCB to fully developed module. And while we know and love that these boards will eventually make their way into every nook and cranny of the world, perhaps tracking wildlife or sensing air quality or built into a Nerf gun defense system, I don't think any of us here at SparkFun fully anticipated that these boards need to be prepared for the long journey to space and Martian life. But that's exactly where one of our boards is right now, battling the harsh nights on Mars inside the Ingenuity helicopter. At this point in filming, the Ingenuity helicopter recently touched down from the Perseverance rover and has been preoccupied keeping warm now that it can't pull from Perseverance nuclear powered system. It's totally reliant on solar power and a rechargeable battery. It's built to tackle the challenge of demonstrating flight on another planet, which is an incredible feat. Since the atmosphere of Mars is about one one hundredths as dense as Earth's, liftoff from Mars has been compared to flying at 100,000 feet above Earth, which is something that has never been done by existing helicopters here. Therefore, Ingenuity has to be incredibly light and have much larger rotor blades that's been much faster to achieve lift. When JPL set out to perform this demonstration of flight, they did something super cool. They decided to ditch the legacy hardware and software and instead implement newer, riskier technologies. They built a helicopter that not only tests the boundaries of flight, but can be replicated by anybody here on Earth. Using SparkFun's LiDAR Light V3, which is a laser-based optical ranging sensor, the helicopter has sight and Ingenuity can fly and correct itself autonomously. Not only that, but Ingenuity is running on Linux and is controlled by a flight framework that is open source and is publicly available on GitHub. In terms of NASA and proprietary scientific research, this kind of accessible technology has never happened before. And because of the access to this technology, we wanted to test out some of the same tasks that Ingenuity has to do itself. So I present to you the Epigone helicopter. It's built with a Raspberry Pi 4, a Pi Juice hat for portable power, the Zoe M8Q Quick GPS Breakout Board and a Molex Flexible Antenna, and the Quick LiDAR Light V4, which operates with an LED instead of a laser and sends out an infrared beam measuring the time it takes to be reflected back. It has about a 10 meter range. Plus, we use the DJI Mini 2 drone for flight and duct tape it all together. Using NASA's open source flight framework called F-Prime, we can build an embedded project with the hardware used above on Linux, just like Ingenuity. Basically, we're able to run GPS and LiDAR data through the Raspberry Pi by implementing F-Prime protocols, including creating custom components for these modules and ports to connect components together. The custom components will read data off the module, process it, and report the telemetry from that data. Ultimately, the components are integrated into the deployment and the entire deployment may be built and installed. Basically, the topology of the app runs data from the GPS and LiDAR components to the ground system, which can be cross-compiled to run on the Raspberry Pi. Although we don't have the same atmospheric challenges as Ingenuity for liftoff, we certainly ran into our own issues in achieving flight. At first, when we wanted to get this guy to fly, I thought an enclosure would be necessary. But as you can see, this drone is pretty small and the project build is practically the same size. So an enclosure wouldn't even be possible considering weight. So we used good old fashioned duct tape and took it outside, secured it up and took it for a test flight. When we first started the motors, the drone wouldn't even run because the rotor blades would knock into the project build or cut the tape. After resituating it atop the drone with about a few millimeters of space for the blades to turn, we attempted liftoff. When it first lifted off, you could tell the drone definitely felt the weight of the project, and we didn't want to go too high because we were afraid it would crash super hard. But you know what? It worked. We were able to get pretty close to the SparkFun headquarter walls and test out the positional data from the GPS and measurement readings from the LiDAR. And using the app we deployed, we can actually read that data via SSHing into the Pi. This was our first flight attempt with Epigone, Ingenuity's distant Earthling friend. As of now, when we film this video, Ingenuity still hasn't taken off yet, but we're so excited with how this technology worked here that we're super hopeful for what will happen on Mars. To Ingenuity and our friends at NASA, happy travels and have a safe flight, because we're rooting for you.
One floor below me is our warehouse, where we build stuff and implement newer, riskier technologies that they did. Why am I struggling so hard? No. <laughs> At first, okay, one more time. <laughs> and implement newer, riskier technologies. So not only did they build a helicopter, a helicopter. Oh. How many times can you say that, Avra? One more time. When JPL set out to perform this innovative demonstration of flight, they did that and then they flew it and then it flew up in the air. 